went to Illinois uh, last Thursday, and uh, the weather was as bad as I've ever seen it. On um, Saturday, we played 18 holes in the morning, and uh, 20, 29 degrees start. It uh, started raining right away. Everyone got cold, and, uh, you know, we just we just struggled that round a little bit, and then we were off to a really good start the second round um, in even worse conditions, and they decided to call up the tournament committee and just said, you know, the... But basically, the temperature was at a point where players for 36 holes would uh, have a struggle finishing um, with enough daylight. So, came back on Sunday and we played all right. We moved uh, from 11th to 9th the final day, and you know now we're off to Ohio State this next weekend. Is it tough? You guys only finished 12 strokes back of third place. So, you know when you take that over a two-round span, that's really a small gap. So, while, while the tournament's going on, is that are you aware? Of you know, the close gap, and how do you deal with that? Yeah, it is a small gap. You know, we've been on both sides of it. We've uh, been fortunate in uh, three or four of the events this spring to to finish um, ahead of, uh, you know, a couple teams by one shot. This time it was on the flip side. You know, we, uh, like you said, it was everything was really bunched. We knew that going into the last day. That's why playing that last uh, 18 holes that first day was really important, um, not only to move up the, the ladder a little bit, um, but also for a regional bit. Sure. Just a preview of the, you guys got the Robert Kepler Invitational in Columbus coming up this weekend. It's a great tournament. Real good field. Uh, Ohio State has one of the best collegiate golf courses, the Scarlet Course. Uh, they've hosted uh, nationwide, uh, nationwide events uh, each of the last three years, and uh, they've hosted an NCAA tournament. The course has been redone. Golf course is real difficult. Uh, 11 teams with six from the Big Ten being there. And uh, we have a good shot to, uh, you know, get back into, uh, you know, regional consideration this weekend. Uh, what's your lineup going to be? Do you, have you settled that? or? Yes, yeah. Uh, it will be Donald Constable, uh, who's coming off a third-place finish and uh, has had top tens in, uh, you know, five of his last six events, playing really well. Uh, Frederick Van Roy and John Trasimar, uh, who have been in the lineup the entire spring and also had uh, very successful springs. And then uh, Cameron White uh, will be back in the lineup this weekend with uh, also David.